Hey everybody, welcome back to your Python tutorial series. I believe we are on video 10, so great job if you made it this far. You've made it 10 videos in, and I sure hope that you're learning a lot. And as always, if you have questions, leave me a comment and I'll do my best to explain things. Alright, so this video, I still want to continue my topic of lists, although I want to talk about selecting a range of values rather than just just two. So let's let's try some things and just see if they work. What we could do is we could try printing chores two and we could try printing chores three, which I don't even know if this is gonna work or not. And we can see that there is an error. So let's try a comma. So now we have chores two, which would be one zero one two, do my homework. And then we have chores three. So we can select individual indexes like that, just putting a comma there. Let's try it again. So let's make it say, clean the room, eat some FOD. So that would be zero. So we want to select the zero with index, the index with the value zero, however you want to say it. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So we can change this to five and then we can press enter. Clean the room, eat some FOD. So we did it correctly. Now what if I want to do something such as selecting a range of values rather than selecting every single one that we want? Well we can actually do this. I'll show you how right now. Print and then within here we say okay we print chores because obviously that's the list that we're printing from what uh, range do we want to print? Let's just say from one to four. The colon is set, is basically a way to say two, so one to four. The range, it's saying everywhere from one to four. We press enter and we will see what we have. We have go shopping, do my homework, recycle. So we can see that it starts on one go shopping because this is zero this is one and then it has do my homework two and then it has recycle three but it doesn't have eat some food that's because it's saying stop before we get to four so this is a uh, include this is exclusive because it does not include the final value so the first number the first index is included, the second index is not included. So now let's let's try to figure out how we would select do my homework all the way up to eat some FOD. Well, we have 0, 1, 2. So we need to start on 2. So let's just type this up real quick so we can work our way there. So we know we need to start on 2 and we're not sure about the next number. So, 0, 1, 2. And we want 3, 4, and 5. So, we can't just put 5 here because remember, it's exclusive. It doesn't include the one we stop on. So, this is going to stop at eat some food. We want it to stop on eat some fod. So, in order to do that, we must go uh, one step farther and make this 2 to 6. That's saying start at 2 and stop before you get to six. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, don't go on. So that is how we would select that range of values. So hopefully that was useful and that may come in uh, handy in the future. Uh, some other things, I just wanted to mention that strings are not the only things that we can store in lists. We can also store numbers. So we could say, um, just numbers, for example, and we can make this a list. We can make it fives, three, seven. We don't have to put quotes because they are not strings, they are numbers. And we could uh, save that as that. Oops, I didn't mean to put that there. But, anyways, uh, what we can do now is we can print that. Sorry.
and it gives us the entire list. We can also take a specific value from this. So we could say print the value that has the index of two, which would be the third one, a seven. Correct. All right, so that's just some other things. Another one last thing is that you can actually mix numbers and strings. So we could say, uh, we can make a variable, my favorite things. And we assign it a list. My first favorite thing is bright morning sunshine. Uh, my second favorite thing is the letter, the number 73. My third favorite thing is uh, the smell of nail polish remover. And then my next favorite thing is 43. And then my next favorite thing is five or six. And then my next favorite thing is, ah, cool. So now uh, we can, okay, I must, okay, so I forgot a comma here. So let me just fix that real quick. You have to be sure to put a comma after each individual one. So now we can uh, print that out. Well, and there you go. All right, so that's all I have to say in this video. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe.